What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the Pink Couch Chronicles. Yes, I'm still in my same shirt and makeup and hair from the last video because I'm batch recording videos and I ain't feel like change right now and y'all will be all right. So if you're new here, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that pretty little red button that says subscribe so that you can be updated every time a new video drops. So today I wanted to talk about um, something that I've kind of been dealing with and processing over like the past couple months or so. So I came to the realization that at some point over like the last year two years that i lost my self-esteem and let me kind of tell you where i feel like that's come from so i feel like it's been like a number of things maybe even going all the way back to 2016 when i was in a relationship with someone and i think that was like my first time really experiencing like dating someone who gaslighted me and who manipulated me and who cheated on me and it was a super short relationship but it was very traumatic and it took me a really long time to heal from that and then on top of that I think professionally like just dealing with um, some of the different jobs that I've had and experiences on those jobs being told that I wasn't good enough or just being disrespected during those jobs um or just kind of like made to feel like I didn't really know anything or I wasn't, I just wasn't, you know, good or anything like that. I think all of that has really just accumulated to this point where I've just started to doubt kind of like who I am and just doubt like my abilities and just kind of what I really know to be true about myself. And so I also think that I think I've lost my self-esteem and I like I read this I think on psychology today. You can lose your self-esteem and still have your self-confidence. And I think that's where I'm at. I think I've lost my self-esteem, but I think I still have my self-confidence. So let me try to like break that down a little bit. So when you say you have self-esteem, that's kind of like how you feel about yourself as a person and your qualities um, and just kind of how you look. Um, and then when you have your self-confidence, it's you know how you think about your ability to actually perform certain tasks or to accomplish certain goals. And so I still very much believe that, you know, I am going to be a successful entrepreneur one day. I believe that, um, you know, I'm going to accomplish every single goal I don't know when, but eventually I'm going to accomplish every single goal that I have set for myself, or at least I'm going to try my hardest because that's who I am and that's what I do. But I sometimes doubt that I'm good enough for a job or I doubt that I'm pretty enough or I don't feel good about my body or I just don't think that, you know, my skills as a makeup artist or as a digital marketer, I don't think they're as good as other people. And I just don't think that my skills sometimes are good. And so it's like, when I'm saying that, it almost contradicts itself just a little bit. But if you've been through it, then you kind of know what I'm talking about. And hopefully I'm kind of explaining it. But I just really wanted to kind of like share my story because I don't think that this is something that a lot of people talk about. Like, I know I've heard of stories of um, like new moms leaving, losing their self-confidence or just feeling different about themselves like after they have a baby. But what about those of us who are, you know, still young? We haven't had kids. We've never been married, you know, and there are just like other things in the world that have come and just really beat us down to where we start to doubt ourselves. And that's like, that's where I'm at, you know? Like one hit was fine, two hits was fine, but like three, four, five, six hits, like after that, you start to wonder like, okay, what is it about me? Like, why do I keep going through this same thing over and over and over again? And all of that has really caused me to do a lot of self-reflection. And so um, I'm, it's something that I'm still working through and something that I'm still working on. So I can't say like, oh, this is how I did it. This is how I got over it. I'm 100% healed because it's something that like I'm still dealing with. But I wanted to just really encourage you all and kind of share 
like how I'm trying to push through it. So one of the ways is therapy. Um, I finally found a new therapist here in DC. Um, I'm excited to start working with her and I think that's gonna be a huge part of my journey. Another way is just really self affirmations and just anytime I have like negative thoughts or I think that I'm not pretty or I don't look good or I think that um, you know my skills aren't good, I have to just really affirm myself and just counteract every single thing that I hear in my mind. And that helps a lot. Journaling also helps to just, you know, write out my thoughts and just kind of like get everything out on paper. And also just be surrounding myself like with positive people. My fiance has been really great about like helping me work through it as well and affirming me. And so that's been really helpful too. But other than that, I've also just been kind of trying to learn from every situation. Like, I don't want to say that everything that has happened to me wasn't my fault because I can look back and see that there were things that I could have done differently. But at the same time, I can't let every negative situation like affect how I feel about myself. And unfortunately, that's kind of what has happened. And so now I'm trying to just really like push through and just heal from all of these situations that I've had to experience. I hope that me sharing my story has um, helped you in some way or encouraged you even to begin the healing process. And everyone's healing process looks totally different. I just really encourage you to just start. You just have to start because you can't allow yourself to just remain in that sunken and deep dark place. Thank you guys again for watching this video. Please, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and I will see y'all on the next video. Bye.